In the city that never sleeps where hot dogs are a breakfast food and the subway is a way of life, a peculiar event unfolded in the courtroom. An event so strange that it could only happen in the Big Apple. We're talking about the jury selection for Donald J. Trump's trial, which turned out to be more like a roast at the Friars Club. In a scene that seemed to come straight out of a Saturday Night Live sketch, over 50 prospective jurors confessed they couldn't possibly be fair and impartial during the trial. Now, that's what I call an unbiased jury, am I right? The selection process was, well, colorful to say the least. With exchanges between the prosecution, defense, and potential jurors that range from personal opinions on Trump to the legal concept of accessorial liability. I'm surprised no one asked if they preferred his tweets or his comb over. Despite a stern warning from the judge about intimidating jurors, seven brave souls were chosen by the end of the day. Seven, my friends, who are about to embark on a journey that promises to be as riveting as a reality TV show. Remember the time when lawyers for the former president requested a one-month delay for the start of a sexual assault and defamation trial, citing the need for a cooling-off period? Well, apparently the media coverage was so hot, they needed a little time to chill. And who could forget the opposition from Carol's attorney, who emphasized the ability to impanel a fair jury in the Big Apple? Now I don't know about you, but if a New Yorker can't be fair and impartial, then who can? Ah, the sweet, sweet irony. From the man who once ruled reality TV, to now being the star of his own real-life courtroom drama. You really can't make this stuff up. So there you have it folks, another day in the life of the city that never sleeps, where jury selection is more entertaining than a Broadway show. Just remember, in New York, anything's possible. Even a jury selection process that resembles a comedy roast. So, as we wrap up today's absurdity, let's leave you with this thought. In a city where you can get a pizza slice at 4 a.m., and where rats are a part of the daily commute, it only makes sense that jury selection could turn into a full-blown comedy show. Keep laughing, New York. You've certainly earned it. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.